Hi guys, Bex from Trista Bites here and I'm going to take you guys on a tour around the entirety of Comic Village, if I can, in one single take so you can see all of the incredible artwork and comic books that you can get hold of at MCM. Let's go! So the first store we have here is Bramble Teen Comics and Indie Games. I've met these guys before. They write awesome stuff. I highly recommend that you come and check them out. They're very friendly. Look at that. Totally won't bite. Very Halloween based as well. I like it. Pix Pixel Halloween. That's brilliant. Ah. Then we have this gorgeous art here, which is absolutely wonderful. I love the colors. Color saturation. That's wicked. Here we have um, Death Bulge, apparently. They definitely like fish. I haven't actually read any of these guys' things before. Prettier on the outside. And premium treats. That looks like it might be, yes, a new one. Awesome. So come and check out their stuff. Uh, Martin Griffin's here. His awesome artwork, including these rather incredible Deadpools. Hey. <laughs> <Right? laughs> hey. Already quite a few people here. I think it's because it is half term this time. Chow illustrations. This stuff is all on the super cute side. Oh, that's so sweet. I love the heartbeat on the heart. That's adorable. Then have Sarah Grayley, uh, our super adventure, Kim Reaper. I haven't read that one. I will have to come back and have a look at these. Very sweet, very webcomic style. Ah. Then here we have uh, Henry Davis uh, of The Beano. You can see some of the original sketches for The Beano. And the man himself, who will hide from the cameras, wants to be known for his art and not his beautiful face. <laughs> it is. I will speak to you later. Right. Uh, here we have Tom Spark. And we have some rather fab looking comics here. I need to come back and have a look at these. Captain Fishbeard, Yeti Mountain, and the Lagoon. You cannot argue with that, nor can you argue with an umbrella with a face. <laughs> the umbrella that doesn't like the rain, that is brilliant. Here we have some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Uh, and possibly my hair twin for the weekend. Um, love that. Here we have the guys, Afterlife Inc, Big Punch Studios. We know these guys. They've been on so many of my videos now. They might as well just take over the whole channel. That's, that's some, some beautiful, beautiful dancing. Um, you guys have probably seen my video for Cat and Morang. Look, the plushies, the plushies. They may or may not take over the world. Um, <laughs> and all, all of the things. And of course, uh, Extra Vessel, I will be putting a video up about that soon. And After Life Inc, we know After Life Inc. I love After Life Inc. <laughs> um, ooh, some artwork I do not recognize. Very nice, lots of good colorful artwork this time. Oh, I do know these guys. Yes, I spoke to you guys last time, Footloose. And the, the uh, yes, the guy who becomes a magical girl by accident, yes. Ah, uh, this next one, I know, I know very well. <laughs> yes, Crankrats and Nyx. I thoroughly recommend reading both. And oh, I may have to steal this cardboard cutout of Nyx. That is so cute. Uh, where angels fall, yay! Give us a wave. <laughs> uh, incredible, incredible artwork. We'll see if my camera wants to focus on this comic. Utterly, utterly beautiful. Just like the level of detail is absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, check out Where Angels Fall. And the next one, oh, this one is new. I do not know this one. It's all very kind of steampunky colored. Um, feels like noodles, the weight of expectations. Oh, I will have to come back and investigate this one in a little bit more detail. Do, 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 moving around, some beautiful anime style artwork and chibis art you can get yourself drawn as a chibi for 10 of your earth pounds. Super, super cute. Oh, draw your D&D &D character. That actually goes very much into a conversation I had the other night.
In fact, the reason I was late this morning was discussing D&D characters till 2 a.m. Awesome. Uh, eat my paint. A very clear instruction. Ah, three panel comics and one about a dog. These guys I also don't know. I'll have to come around and take a further look at these later. Oh wow, all of, all of the things, sinners. I've spoken to you guys before. <laughs> I know you guys. <laughs> Hopefully my camera will focus. Many, many good comics. And that is one of the things with Comic Village is that these guys are prolific comic creators and they make amazing things. Ah, well, here's a man I do know, Ben Crafter. And he does all of the how to draw manga books. Um, I spoke to him and interviewed him at London Super Comic Con a while back. Incredible artwork. Here are, yes, super cute cats. You cannot go wrong with super cute cats. Key rings, badges, your portrait in five minutes for a fiver. I think that's a very, very good deal. Hopefully they could make me into a cat. Uh, Mr. McPherson, writer uh, of Deadbeat, which I have done a video on. Oh, and a new comic as well, by the looks of it as well. I'll have to come back and give that one a read. Who have we got next? Accent UK. And they have a whole range of comics, um, adventure comics, westerns, a range of stuff. This is all very steampunk and western coloured, I have to say. He looks thoughtful, he's definitely put a lot of effort into thinking about these and some gorgeous artwork. Very, very distinctive looking. Anna Seed Man, comics and illustrations. Someone I have not met before, but looking like some rather awesome artwork. Commission's open on this one as well. He is already hard at work, clearly in demand. These look pretty cool. Quite a different style of artwork. These, again, some beautiful anime artwork, uh, fantasy inspired, manga style portraits, a whole range of stuff. Queen Rat, a new, another new person. Deeds, not words. This looks quite dark and interesting. I think this one's going to be on my list to come back to. Uh, Fish Girl, Civil Disobedience, all mini comics here. These look pretty awesome. It says it's well rude. <laughs> um, Mr. Lucian. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing a little walk around to show what everybody has. It very, very much is. As Mr. Lucien, incredible artwork, art books, and incredible, incredible creative things. And here we have, oh, I love the colors. Really gorgeous. <laughs> we'll draw you as a sloth. I've seen these guys before. Awesome comics and awesome sloth-based art. Uh, childish butt vomit. I'm assuming that that is a description of the contents we will get. Plus, draw you as a sloth for a fiver. Here we have Jack Lawrence, writer of these awesome comics, Lost Light, Transformers, and various other sci-fi things. Zyra uh, Inc. So here we have Wisdom is Rent, Hope and Courage. This also looks like some gorgeous art. And that's going to be a recurring theme. I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this video, but we just have some absolutely beautiful artwork going on here. And all very unique and all very different. And books as well, not just comics, not just art. Sharks, sharks, all the sharks you could ever want for a fiver. And some dinosaurs. I can't get enough dinosaurs. More manga portraits, if that is your thing, and comic books. Stickers, dungeons and drawings. Oh, I like these tarot card style art. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Girl in the Rain. 
I've spoken to this lovely lady before. Her artwork is absolutely stunning and it's a great opportunity to see how it is done in person. Again, beautiful portraits in watercolour. Uh, get in there quick if you want some of those. Who do we have here? Ah, oh. Im Shalou, where is, where is the man himself? He is there. Again, incredible, highly detailed artwork of everything you could ever want and possibly more. <laughs> do, do, do. More artwork. Lloyd and the Bear. Again, this is another one I do not know. Oh, that's gorgeous. Again, a lot of commissions if you want characters of yourself drawn. Drugs and Ways. Morning. This is a extremely good comic if you like your dark cyberpunky style things. Recommend checking them out. NPC T. Again, amazing comics, very distinctive art style, very lovely lady. I recommend coming and checking her stuff out. Stupid Fox, not as stupid as it sounds, but incredibly, incredibly cute. Sardinia and the world. <laughs> Action Heroes, an anthology, comic books. I actually need to come around and look at your stuff. There's lots of people I have not seen their work before which is pretty awesome actually because Comic Village is definitely getting bigger and bigger and bigger and that is something that I'm very much enjoying at the moment it's like how large Comic Village is actually now getting um, it always deserved slightly more space and now it has Mark Ellenby, uh, that's of course Rick and Morty I think we all know Rick and Morty variant covers, signed books Everything you could ever want, Rick and Morty style, and talk to the man himself. Do, 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 do. Wait, crazy cute. Oh, wow. That is a serious bit of robotic kit there. You would not mess with him. <laughs> and again, another person whose comics I have not read yet. There is definitely a wealth of new people here, so even if you've been coming to Comic Con for a very long time, you're going to find a lot of new people to check out this time and the amount of artwork, the quality of artwork and the amount of people here, it just grows absolutely every year. Here we have Romantically Apocalyptic. I like the art style, I like a lot of good colour palettes I'm seeing today, a lot of things I'm noting I need to come back and read some more of. Which is good. I like the fact that every single Comic-Con I come to, I find more people that I need to talk to, more things I need to do, and that is freaking amazing. So definitely, if you would like yourself drawn as a Pokemon, this is definitely the place to come to. This is Kaylee. That one is amazing. Absolutely beautiful artwork. So many new artists. I'm loving it. and super cute as well. Commissions, five pound for a portrait. So we're looking at, whoa, sneaky for a few people, very reasonable prices. Time bomb, flintlock. Yay. Hello, I'm very well, thank you. We have interviewed flintlock, uh, for about flintlock on this channel before. Awesome adventure, swashbuckling through time. Time bomb comics. Ooh, there's an additional monster. There's definitely a new Time Bomb comics out this time. And more with the gorgeous artwork going on over here. That box is super, super cute. Ooh, somebody's not here yet. Someone's later than me. Ah, oh, Mandy the Monster Hunter. I met these guys at last MCM and indeed filmed an interview which I have yet to put up on the channel. more gorgeous artwork oh and lovely badges badges with sea creatures on those are really really cute remix things there's so many things so if you've only got a few pounds there are still always little things that you can get hold of at comic-con 
small and unusual things, not just kind of the big commissions, although commissions are exceedingly well, like reasonably priced here, um, but loads of other things as well. And here we have, well, the Metal Made Flesh guys and Bearlands. And obviously, I know these guys incredibly well for all your zombie bear and uh, heavy metal cyberpunk needs. These guys have definitely got you covered. I've featured Metal Made Flesh. I haven't actually done a video on Bearlands, but I've put Metal Made Flesh, <laughs> that's awesome, on the channel a few times. Here we have. <laughs> Uh, I have yet to interview this man. That is his disgruntled face for the fact I have yet to actually come around and interview him. Dead to me. But I am now featuring you on this current video, which will be up on the internet very shortly. <laughs> With you being slightly grumpy at me, because I haven't yet done a proper interview. He was totally grumpy. You saw that. That is the first day of Comic-Con grumpy. Uh, here we have, oh, Mandy the Monster Hunter. I chatted to you last time. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And again, here we have... Uh, Lizzie Rain and some more beautiful, oh, some 3D badges and all sorts going on there. Kit drawers and a man walking a dog. That's pretty awesome. There's a lot of really cute artwork. Hey, I know you. Cognition, as mentioned in my last Q&A video, is one of my favorite indie comics of this year. And oh, I think there is another one out that may be where my money is going. There are, cats are better than people. Well, we can't disagree with that one. So I think we'll have to generally agree. 101 cats. It's an entire store about how cats are better than people. This is another place that my money will need to go. Oh, Murder most mundane. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> More awesome looking comics. I love the art style of this. Look at the eyes. Love it. And here we have uh, Ken McFarlane and more cute artwork. I'm, I'm loving the amount of cute that we have, the amount of time, dark evil looking things in time for Halloween combined with the amount of super cute things. Gorgeous portraiture and Star Wars and other sci-fi artwork going on here. Hey! Uh, do do or weave my way through the people. So this one keeps on adding on. Here we have YF Studio. Got some more gorgeous artwork, lovely painted artwork quite cinematically coloured as well. Animity. Again, seriously lovely artwork and candles and everything on the stool. You've got to love it. Fez Baker. Got some beautiful black and white, white artwork and some art books here. Folk, magic, myth and healing. Emma Vessel. Here we have Breaks, another one I haven't read. Breaks, uh, Vampire Academy, Doctor Who. Ah, but I do recognize that there gem artwork glistening gorgeously in the background. I managed to get hold of one of the copies of that because I think that's a limited edition at last MCM. There's so many people. There's so many people here because I think it is the half term and it has let loose a lot more people on a Friday than we normally get. I've read these guys' work before absolutely awesome magic and adventure from those guys <laughs> more gorgeous artwork going on here and again with the lovely colors I hope it is coming out on the video how beautiful some of the artwork colors are that all these guys are putting together not just manga portraits a comic artist but also manga portraits absolutely awesome and they're all so different as well. These kind of remind me of slightly more old school, kind of um, some of the late 70s comics I've read. Funkyspaceport.com, that is a brilliant URL, if nothing else. Space-based art badges. Oh, and some mystery bags there as well. Do you like a good mystery bag? This is looking pretty occult as we go around the corner. Foxglove Woods Residence. I think we're dealing with some lovely horror-based comic books going on here. And when you go in, ah, oh, and Ghost Island, Ghost Island 2. Oh, I need to read the second one. I've read the first one of that. Very, very good, highly recommended. And more, again, just the level of detail on the artwork. It makes me miss drawing, actually. But then I could probably not draw anything 
half as good as the amazing people like me every single Comic Con. Tim Kong Art. I've seen his work before. Utterly, utterly beautiful. <laughs> Giant Rhino in space. If you need a comic about Giant Rhino in space, this is definitely the place for that. And again, there are commissions here starting at only £15. Some awesome artwork and wonderful colours. Love the black and white and single highlighter. That's a really cool idea. Again, more sketches, more artworks. Oh, and Soul Snatchers. Again, a, a very good comic, kind of dark and um, westerny sort of. It's been a long time since I read that one, but it's kind of supernaturally, I think, as well. Again, some beautiful artwork here. Wraith King, the artwork in that is absolutely incredible. I recommend checking out all of his prints as well. Oh, another new person. I don't know these. Oh, there is spot varnish print on some of these. Can you see picking that up on camera? Absolutely beautiful. We have comics, illustrations, artworks. More just more gorgeous art um, Mephistos I never heard how to pronounce that one but again very 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 good comic beautiful artwork and all the people here they are pretty much all self-published they are putting all of this work in and this is a place where you can see I think now MCM London is the place where you can see the highest amount of awesome indie comic creators do, 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 do. sneaking around who have we got next gorgeous wolverine and daredevil art going on here and some amazing small art books art books and sketchbooks spider-man art to die for over here We've got jim chung and again just wonderful wonderful artwork <laughs> Batman oh look at that silver spot varnish print on those that's absolutely lovely oh and a signed Dark Knight 3 as well that's pretty amazing it's amazing the amount of people that have all of these original sketches original artworks one-off sketches not just the commissions but original pages sometimes and obviously you can get your comic book covers customized and drawn frank joe uh, not currently there awesome lovely guy incredible artist as well highly recommend checking out his work he has done lots of the covers for harley quinn that's a pretty amazing Harley Quinn cover there. The old, the new, and why so serious. Brian is out and uh, going to, needs to be signing comics there. Oh. Phil Buckingham. Phil is not at his table, but his artwork is awesome and he is a very, very lovely guy. There we have the new Doctor Who. I saw the first episode of that. I wasn't sure on it. I need to watch the next one and see how that kind of beds in. But nevertheless, a lovely drawing of her, a lovely portrait thereof. These are pretty unique and different. If my camera will focus. Yeah, there we go. I quite like that Superman. That I don't recognise that outfit. Someone could tell me if that is a Superman outfit from anywhere in particular, because I suspect that is a, a OC. Here we have Storm Dogs, uh, Hulk, and Storm Dogs, and various other awesome things. The Disney artist, James Mulligan. And here you can get original sketches. There we've got Toy Story, oh, a really, really lovely aerial, and everything you can imagine. <laughs> oh, this next table, somewhat busy. So that's going to have to be a mystery person for now mystery person at that table um, oh. oh Paradiso very 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 good comic um, Black Mamba I've not read the Savage Shores hey very very nice guys I thoroughly recommend checking out their words Dan Waters not sitting at the desk right now I've not <laughs> 
Here we have Ryan O'Sullivan. You've probably heard me mention Void Trip on numerous occasions. Look at how beautiful it is. That is a intergalactic road trip comic, well worth giving a read. Uh, and Fearscape, which is the new one, straight back from New York Comic Con. Yeah. Look at him, just like trying to style that out. Yeah, just, you know, I got flown to New York, yeah. Here we have the very shy Gary Erskine who will hide as soon as he sees I have a camera pointed at him. But he is a creator of these amazing sketchbooks, incredible artwork, and his comic book Roller Girls is in the making and has already got so much support. It's absolutely awesome. Space Babe 113. Again, another new person. Really distinctive artwork and quite different. Um, Patrick Warren. Again, another new person. And again, good colour palettes. I'm really loving the range of artwork we've got. Joshua Dunlop, concept artist, Pokemon Zoology. Wow, that is an amazing Pikachu. So here we have, look like beautiful 3D rendered, realistic worked out versions of Pokemon. Hey. Uh, I will come back and have a read. These look really, really cool. They look very supernatural and adventure and a little bit dark, which is exactly all of my tick boxes. Safra Lou. Again, gorgeous artwork. Today is so much busier. This is an experiment. We knew this was going to be a bit of an experiment to go around with the cameras. Here we have <laughs> more awesome more awesome comics that I have not read before. Oh well, you think you have to it's not too late, you are correct, and I will come round and I will read them soon. Sloth Comics. We know Sloth Comics. I'm doing very well. It is Friday morning, and I'm showing everybody all of the comics that are here today. I'm also loving the beard. That, that's amazing. Sloth Goblins. <laughs> uh, goblins, you will remember I have done a video about that already on the channel. Nice. And he has a new sloth tattoo to go with it. Moon. I have done so many videos on Moon. We know Moon. I could now actually do the pitch for Moon myself. Oh, there is also some new chromium stickered versions going on here. Moon Comics is where the moon is summoned instead of a demon and he comes down and he fights ridiculous crime. And he still looks like a moon and has a head of the moon. <laughs> Templars of the Shifting Verse. Another one I have not read. I feel that this video is a lot of me saying, here are some amazing comics I have yet to read. And uh, as a Halloween special, you can get yourself drawn in a spooky way. That is the man for spooky commissions. Chesleen Khan. Again, I have not read enough of... I was expecting to see know so many more people that I already knew, but instead I'm meeting loads of new people. And in fact, a lot of these people you're probably going to find me doing interviews with for the rest of the weekend. And again, oh, some beautiful, I don't know if that comes out on camera, how beautiful the colors are on that one, but that's absolutely gorgeous. Again, beautiful artwork going on. Strikes by this is very steampunk. And we have airships, and it looks like it is a good adventure. And just watercolor artwork is something that I love seeing in comic books. And again, beautiful artwork from Tub. The banana. Top banana doing uh, comic books. Uh, oh, mystery packs. That's the second set of mystery packs I've seen. Uh, Darkwood cards. Um, if you love animal artwork, then their art is absolutely gorgeous. Appeals to the goth in me because there are obviously lots of ravens involved. Um, here we have Thor coming to buy his artwork, endorsing the Darkwood. Up to four player, ah, oh, a weekly webcomic about role playing games. Well, that feeds again into the conversation that kept me up till two o'clock this morning and made me late to do this here video. Um, critical Role, love it. So, yeah, there are also board game people and um, fantasy people and sci fi people and, oh, a rather good Loki cosplay and many, many bits of artwork. Oh, I like that. Very spooky. Badges. 
prints. Again, stickers, little bits and pieces. If you don't have money for prints, although here A4 prints start at uh, six pounds and only four pounds for an A5. So there are always things you can get. There are always little bits of artwork you can get by people that, whose work that you love. So I do recommend going around and talking to everybody and seeing what artwork they have and just getting to know the artists. Um, do talk to the artists at Comic-Con. Um, people get quite shy to go up and look through look through the artwork and look through the books um, in case they, they're sort of worried if they're not definitely going to buy something that they maybe they um, shouldn't go up and talk to the stands, but you really, really should. Because otherwise you're gonna miss things like this and you don't actually know what you're going to find until you start going up and having a look at the stands and talking to everybody. They're so varied and it's so easy to just miss something. Uh, Lucky Cat, that is probably the cutest badge I've seen today. And a little fox face. Mightier Than The Sword, Pilot Light. Again, more indie comics that I need to be checking out. Uh, somebody else that is late. A fantasy series, probably like no other. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Martin Simmons. Punk, not dead. I love the artwork on this. This is so 90s. Again, something I've not seen before and may never see again. Aha, the pride. Yes. Uh, I featured the Pride in a previous MCM video. Definitely a comic that is worth checking out if you want happiness and Technicolor and all-inclusive awesomeness. And it says Pride new issue out, so if you've got the first one, you need to come back and get another one. Paranormal Investigations and some rather awesome postcards. All looks quite x files -y and cool here. And again, oh, some more people that are late. Aha, Andrew Hickingbottom. We know this man. He does incredible pin-up artwork, badges, stickers. Oh, and Christmas cards have now been created for his most famous character, Trixie. So do recommend coming and checking out his artwork. The fluffs. Ooh, hand-painted. I love it. And tiny, tiny, mini, mini comic books. I find water relaxing. Me too. I, I agree with that statement. The Tide, uh, Mermaids and Supernaturalness. And getting my camera to focus. <laughs> Animal Magic, Free-Headed, Flying, Narwhal. Oh, that is pretty awesome. I did not expect that. You cannot, you cannot possibly predict what awesomeness that you're going to find at Comic-Con. And again, just some more stunning, stunning artwork going on here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> and again, oh, we have some Transformers artwork going on here, and also we have a price list. So small prints are a fiver, big prints are a tenner, and comics are five as well. Brilliant. Oh, and some Power Rangers artwork as well. That looks lovely. Bra Studio going on here. Hey, and again, ah, oh, there's more. Power Rangers y artwork. I recognise that. That's a Megazord. I'm like sort of mostly too old for that. Creepy Kids. This one looks interesting. I think I'm going to be coming back and having a look at that one shortly. And also some lovely coloured, lots of sea creatures that I have seen today and lots of key rings and badges. Good. Loads of incredible comics. Support animals, 29 people. This dog believes in you. I think he may be lying, but I appreciate the sentiment that he gives. And an entire sheet of A4 of potatoes. Again, more stickers, more mini comics, uh, more incredible artwork. Oh, I like this Thief Pack, Adventurers Pack, Spellcasters Pack. I could do with some of those. Remind me what items I need to remember, like health potions. Alex Lloyd, Papercraft Illustrator. And we have some gorgeous artwork here with some 3D butterflies added to it. And again, more stickers, postcards. Ooh. 
Ah, hand cut and the paper feels amazing. And again, that's something you don't get by making something a wallpaper. And another one that's 3D, just in time for Halloween. This appeals to the goth in me. I say the goth in me, I am a goth. More gorgeous artwork going on here for Dawn. Moon! I'll come back and talk to them properly later. Dolphin Squad, Heroes of the Sea, more sea animals. There's definitely a sea animal theme that seems to be going on here. Although that one looks slightly darker and less child friendly. Dexter's Half Dozen. And again, these comic series, they are often on long and ongoing. And oh my goodness, those are incredible. I can think of several people I know that would love to have those. It's kind of like having, well, it looks like a house plant that way, but I'm assuming up on the wall, it will just look like it's attacking you out of your bedroom wall. And got copies of the Peyton Men and Hex Girlfriend. Love the pun there. And more of these. I feel that one of those may need to be on my wall at some point. Here we have some clearly heavy metal inspired artwork going on there. Hey guys. Yeah, definitely heavy metal inspired. Definitely some comics to check out. Some interesting character designs going on here. I will need to come back and see those. That's amazing. He-Man and Master of the Universe versus the Thundercats. And uh, yeah, Dragon Phoenix Chronicles. Another one I've not read. I need to I need to come round. This video is mostly just going to be a reference for me so I can come round and read them. Here we have side quest stories. Hey. And again, this seems another one that is somewhat D, D inspired by people enjoying dungeons and heroes and so forth. Some beautiful, beautiful artwork again. I feel like I'm going to saying that a lot, but I hope this tour is being useful for you guys. Hamish Steel. Um, ooh, again, and more ones I have not read. New people that I have not seen and met before this Comic Con. There's definitely going to be a lot of me going around reading things today. I feel like Friday is utterly going to be the day for reading new comics and finding new things. Because there are so many things that look incredibly intriguing. I have a ghostly journal here, ghost comics and Japanese inspired artworks. And a Kappa survival guide. Again, lots of Halloween-y stuff coming out. I do like it. Kigali. Again, another another new person, another person whose comics I have yet to read. So I'll have to come around to do some proper talking with you later. Who have we got? Game Dev I Null. <laughs> this looks like uh, it's something that a lot of people I know could relate to, all you indie comics devs out there. I think that that's going to be something you will fully understand. Kind of looks like happiness and cyanide, but specifically for games developers. Some beautiful artwork going on here and a lot of comics. Again, one I've not read, but looks incredibly like late 80s um, manga style. Um, really awesome. Biomecha, that, def that definitely sounds like something I need to go. And some incredible pin badges with slogans on. Uh, cats in space for £1.50. I believe you need to know what is going on with Cats in Space and loads of interesting comics here and an armadillo with a Christmas hat. That is not something I expected to see. Commissions available as well here. Oh, I've seen this lady's artwork before, that picture in particular. I nearly bought that last Comic-Con. That may happen, this Comic-Con. Absolutely incredible artwork. What's going on here? More supernaturally, Sam Haynes, a cult detective. Uh, absolutely incredible book and lovely guy. I thoroughly recommend checking out his work because it is not just comics. It is not just comics, although mostly comics. Here we have a rather incredible Deadpool on a My Little Pony by Anthony D. Lee. I recommend checking that out if nothing else. Some beautiful comic covers as well. I'm not quite sure what that is a crossover of, but if you know, please tell me. And of course, all of the great comics that these guys have written as well and they're all very reasonably priced and sometimes at comic-con they are cheaper than if you were to buy them online from these guys because you've got no posters to deal with and the comics are obviously right here and you can check them out samurai slasher 
you guys know it's Mike Garley. Uh, yay, there he is. See, he's getting less scared every time I put a camera in front of his face and the kill screen. I've interviewed him about both of those incredible comic books and you definitely need to check those out. Uh, Adrian Speed, not your average science fiction. That is an interesting claim. And again, one that I have not read the work of. Hey, uh, see, everyone here is very friendly. So do not be afraid to go up to all the artists and talk to them in Comic Village and get to know them. Uh, sometimes they have a lot more than they can even fit on the stools. And another comic I've not read. Um, so it is definitely worth chatting to them and finding out what they've got and uh, what they're working on as well. Um, Again, badges, pin badges, comic book, all those little things that you can just pick up. And floofy things. Right. They're kind so of like nice super multicolored tribbles. So I'm loving that. Yeah. Um, let's go around the top of this one. There's some awesome looking t-shirts there. There's also comic books. May Amada. Yes. I've interviewed May Amada several times. If you remember the Samurai Chef video, and they also go to Hyper Japan quite a lot. Very funny. Um, Samurai Chef is about a chef and the food is all alive and starts attacking them and becomes possessed. Hey, here we have the guys from uh, MSP who created Rabbit again. Uh, Rabbit the Scarred Ones, 1980s style action hero. Oh, and they have a new one as well. So definitely come and check that one out. Uh, I've done a video about the Rabbit comic already. I'll have to go back and get those guys about their new one as well. Spooky cutie. It's like if you want your Halloween slightly more kawaii. Cute, super cute pin badges. It's so cute that my camera doesn't want to focus on it. Absolutely adorable. And oh, again, something a bit different. Matilda Dawes illustration. Hello. Hello. So again, yeah. Oh, I need my camera to focus. I just went past your stall and you weren't there. But this is the guy who writes the amazing occult detective books I showed you earlier. And again, more I haven't read, Blender. Now that looks interesting and dark. A good mix of very, very dark and very, very cute going on here. Sam's designs, love it. Again, lots of original hand-drawn artwork. Oh, and things printed on chromium, which as every comic collector knows, makes them instantly super, super awesome. Headcase, another comic I haven't read, and some beautiful artwork there. Oh, that's a gorgeous t-shirt. And somebody with half and half hair, like I used to have. And uh, Killer Housewives for five pounds. You can find out what Killer Housewives are. I need to ask how to pronounce people's names. I'm gay and not in the mood. Love it. Love the attitude. And again, gorgeous colours. And we've got some different comic books here. I need to come back and read so many things. There's Zombie Outbreak. A Zombie Outbreak right next to some incredibly cute, sort of almost Pokemon creature looking things. And oh, and some amazing, amazing dragons. So yeah, definitely. And a T-Rex, who is quite terrifying. Have Richard read it again. Someone whose comic books I have not read, but video games for good. Definitely, that looks. Oh, and that looks a bit cyberpunky. Wayfarer, I will need to come back and check that. Plus, again, commissions and sketches starting from fifteen pounds, so very reasonable. The amount of original artwork. We have some original Marvel artwork pages here that you can come and check out, and record a bit of Batman artwork. And again, I am so embarrassed I can't pronounce people's names at the moment. But again, Autumn Wits, Summer Witch, beautiful artworks. <laughs> and what looks like a French-inspired version of Pinocchio with a bit of a twist. I will show you guys as much as I physically can in this walk around. But there is so much to see. And some people are not even here yet because it is early on the Friday. There are going to be more people turning up more gorgeous artwork, more comic books, more things to see. I uh, got the art of Lorna Carver here as well. So again, just stunning, unique prints. 
and um, they start again from very reasonable prices. Uh, Lee Townsend, a staple at Comic-Cons and an incredibly nice guy. And he does commissions as well at Comic-Con and has some incredible artworks you can check out. Manga portraits, cosplay portraits, uh, original characters, you name it, just talk to the guys here. Here we have Kit Joe Yuki, fantasy artist. And again, their artwork is incredible and their artworks, you definitely need to look through them. I wish I could show you everything in a single video, but this is already probably gonna be about half an hour's worth of video, just to give you guys a very, very basic walkaround of some of the artwork that is on offer. Again, A4 prints starting from a fiver for some of this absolutely incredible artwork. There are so many people that I need to meet and talk to and oh that's lovely um, I just seem to gravitate towards the goth stuff at the moment uh, Beatmatic Starkiller not one I have read that will go on the list of things I need to come and read and again looks like that's on issue 3 so that's one I really should know by now Sammy Ward draws and looks nervous in front of cameras as many artists do Tales of Mystery and a cute animal on the front. It's always a win for me. Again, beautiful colours. I always gravitate towards these incredible artworks which have um, limited colour palettes. Definitely. Oh, here we have the guy from Twisted Dark. Oh, he, I don't think Neil, the man himself, is actually here. I've interviewed him before and I have a copy of the first Twisted Dark. But they tend to do things which are kind of dark and twisted, as the name would imply. Um, Poster Posse, steampunk artist again. This is a new group of people, and these are very nice art prints. Look like they were created in series, and it looks like it's a collective of people who are working together. Very cool movie inspired posters. Oh, Leon. Help yourself. See, even sometimes the business cards are incredible pieces of art. <laughs> nearly at the end, guys. We are nearly there. Here we have Sweat Drop, Sweat Drop Studios. And they are a massive group of independent manga artists who work together. And I couldn't possibly list all of the comics these guys have, but they are a really, really lovely bunch of people. They also sometimes do mini comics as their business cards, so you can check out their style. But they are absolutely incredible guys. Um, hmm. That appears to be for all of your technology needs right near the end of Comic Village. And here we have Destiny Blue, one of my favorite artists of Comic Con. There's Criminal, I do not actually own any of her absolutely amazing artwork. Um, she's another hair twin, she's another one with blue hair. Destiny Blue, I recommend checking her out. And then that is the end of Comic Village. Thank you for joining me on that journey round Comic Village. It is huge this year and not even all the artists have arrived. There is so much to see and so many new comics, so many new artists whose work I really need to go and check out. So thanks for joining me. Let me know what comics you're going to check out when you get here over the weekend and I'm going to go read the rest of the comics. Bye! What do you love and what you're going to check out, MCM? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> right, guys, that was just, I mean, a fraction of what you can see here at MCM, but at least you can see all of the incredible stuff that's here in Comic Village. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> we can do this. Awesome. <laughs> you good?